Good morning, students. It's teacher Sandra here again. I hope you are fine with your family. Today, we are going to learn something new. Vamos a aprender algo nuevo. So, I will show you a picture. Les voy a mostrar una imagen. I will show you a picture. And, y quiero ver if you can guess what you are going to learn today. Quiero que me digan qué es lo que vamos a aprender hoy. So, here we go. Look. What we are going to learn today. ¿Qué vamos a aprender? Classroom objects. Very good. So, the objective for today's class is to identify, vamos a identificar, to identify some important Classroom objects. Vamos a identificar objetos que usamos en la sala de clases. Classroom objects. Let's start. So, in order to start, we are going to go over the vocabulary, repeating the following words. Point with a pointer or your fingers or a pencil, whatever. Vas a señalar con tu dedito un lápiz o lo que tú tengas. When you hear them, cuando escuches las palabras, when you hear them, okay? Here we go. Listening 31. Listen and repeat. Look! Wow! Let's open the bag. Okay, here we go. What's inside? School objects. A dictionary. A calculator. A glue stick. A rubber. A felt tip. A sharpener. A folder. A pencil case. Wow! What a lot of school objects! Did you do it? ¿Lo hicieron? I hope you did. So now we are going to listen to a tant, the classroom tant, to practice the vocabulary. Use your finger to follow the words as you sing. Pick up your ruler. Toma tu regla. Pick up your pen. Open your notebook and count to ten. Abre tu notebook y cuenta hasta diez and count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Put down your ruler. Deja abajo tu regla. Put down your pen. Close your notebook. Cierra tu libro. Close your notebook and do it again. Okay? So now, let's do and sing the tent. Listening 35. Listen and say the classroom chant. Pick up your ruler, pick up your pen, open your notebook and count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine.
Did you say the tent? Great! So now stand up and look for your own ruler and notebook, put them on the table and do the actions. Vas a tomar una regla y un cuaderno y vas a realizar las acciones. Let's do it again. Now we're going to do some exercises. This exercise is from your activity book on page number 14. We are going to read the list of Granny's things. Vamos a leer esta lista. And write the numbers next to the pictures. Vamos a escribir el número al lado de cada imagen. Draw, dibuja, draw the missing object in the empty frame. Vas a dibujar el objeto que no aparece sobre la mesa, on the table. ¿Ok? Let's read together. Number one, a dictionary. Number two, a felt tip. Number three, a pencil case. Number four, a sharpener. Number five, a rubber. Number six, a folder. Number seven, a glue stick. Number eight, a calculator. Okay? So, number one, what's this? It's a dictionary. Number two, a felt tip. Where is it? Good, felt tip. Number three, a pencil case. Number three, a pencil case. Number four, a sharpener. Where is it? Up to, I'm here next to the folder. Number four. Number five, a rubber. Number five. Number six, a folder. Very good. Number six. Number seven, a glue stick. Mm. And number eight, a calculator. So, what's missing? A glue stick. Draw the object in the empty frame. Now, it's your turn. Ahora es tu turno. Label the items for Granny. Escribe el nombre de los objetos para Granny. A calculator. A, recuerden que en inglés significa una o un, ¿ok? So, you have to start with a. A calculator. A dictionary. A folder, etc. ¿Ok? Let's continue. Which school objects can you see? Look at wizard's hands. Observa las manos de los magos. A folder, a notebook, a felt tip, a calculator, a ruler, and a pencil case. Which wizards pick up something? ¿Qué mago levantó algo? Wizard 1, 2, and 3. Which wizard put down something? Wizard 4, 5, and 6. What wizard 1 is going to do? Pick up your folder. Now complete the sentences. What wizard 2 is going to do? Pick up your notebook. Good. Number three. What wizard three is going to do? Pick up your felt tip. Okay. Number four. What wizard number four is going to do? Put down your calculator. Number five, what wizard five is going to do? Put down your 
ruler. Very good. And number six, what wizard six is going to do? Put down your pencil case. Very good. Now write down your sentences. Hi again. Did you write your sentences down? ¿Escribieron sus oraciones? Well done. This exercise is from your skills book, tu libro pequeño. What do we have to do? ¿Qué tenemos que hacer? Number the words. Enumerar las palabras, then write them in alphabetical order. Luego las vamos a escribir en orden alfabético. So we have section 1 and section 2. Look at this picture. What it says? A glue stick. Why glue stick is in first section? ¿Por qué glue stick está en la sección number one? The word, la palabra, the word starts with letter D. La palabra comienza con letter D. Which is alphabetically between letter M and M. So, You have to write number one if the item, el objeto, starts with a letter from A to M. Si la palabra comienza con la letra entre la A y la letra M, ¿ok? O number two, if the item starts with a letter from N to Z, ¿ok? Okay, let's do it together. Glue stick, section one. Starts with letter D. Notebook, section two. Very good. The word starts with letter N. Pencil case, section one or section two. Section You write number two. Pencil case starts with letter P. Felt tip. Section one or section two. Section one. Well done. The word starts with letter F. Great. Sharpener. Section one or section two. Section 2. The word starts with letter S. Rubber. Section. Section 2 again. The word starts with letter R. Well done. Calculator. Section 1. The word starts with letter. Letter C. Very good. Dictionary, section one or section two? Section one, write number one. The word dictionary starts with letter D. Ruler, section one or two? Section two, the word starts with letter R. Well done. And folder, section one. The word starts with letter F. Great! Now do this exercise on your own. Lo van a hacer solito o solita. Write these words in alphabetical order. Okay? Do it on your own and then compare your answers. Lo haces solito, solita, y luego comparas tus respuestas. ¿Ok? Have a nice week. Bye, bye.